Welcome to WP Math. In this video, we are going to introduce you with the conditional modules of the Elements Kit plugin. It's one of the finest modules that will allow you to show or hide any part of your web page based on certain conditions. I need some content to show you how it works. So let's use the Layout Kit feature of the Elements Kit plugin to import some content. I will go to Widget Presets, then I'll go to Call to Action, and let's use the first one. Now we are going to use the conditional module for this call to action part. But before that, let me show you how to enable the conditional module. From your dashboard, navigate to Elements Kit, now go to Modules, and make sure the conditional modules is activated. After that, click Save Changes. Now in order to use the conditional module, we are going to click the section. Then we will go to Advanced part, and there you will find the conditional module. After you enable it, you will have two important fields. The first one is the condition made and the second one where you have to put all of your conditions. We will start from the conditions. If you open the first condition here, they will find three fields. In the first drop down, you can apply the condition based on the login status, user role, operating system, browser, date, day and time. Let's have some demonstration based on this. Let's select the login status. I want to hide this content when the user is not logged in. So I will select is. That means the login is must. Now if I select is not, that means the user can see the content even if he is not logged in. Now I only want to show the part of my website when the user will log in. So I'll select is. After that, click update and let's see the output. In the output, I can see the content because I'm logged in. Let's open the same URL in incognito mode. There I cannot see anything because I have set the condition when the user will log in on that time he can see the content I want to show. Alright, now let's see some other conditions. Let's add another one. From the condition, select operating system. Now after I have selected the operating system condition, now I have to select based on which operating system I want to show or hide my content. There in the bottom, if you click on it, they will find more than 15 different operating system. As I'm using Windows operating system, so I'm not going to choose it right now. I'll select Ubuntu. Now there is another field which is the condition made. I haven't talked about it. This is basically our AND condition. Here you can apply made all and any of the condition. I want to apply all of the condition. When all the condition will be true, this content will show. Otherwise, this content won't show. But if you select any condition, on that time, if any of the condition becomes true, on that time, this content will show. But right now, I want to select all. Again, update it. I don't see anything because I'm not using the Ubuntu operating system. What if I select any of the condition? Update it. Now, if I see the output, I supposed to see the content, but there is no content. The reason I cannot see the output is that the login status selected is not. That means when I will be logged in, I cannot see the output. So let's go to the incognito mode and refresh the page. There I can see the output because I am not logged in. Alright, now let's go back and select Ease and update it. Now this time I can see the output. So this is all about the settings you need to know in order to work with the conditional module. Thank you for watching this video.